Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I set up my other Laura Denise planners that I received. So I bought this brown folio for my mini project planner. And I don't have anything in here yet because this is going to be my work planner. And so I did put uh, their sticky notes in here. I probably won't carry all of these, but I did put the follow-up and the delegated in here. I figured I could use these for work. I think they work better in here, not to get bent or anything like that. So I did put those in here. Well, yeah. And it doesn't make it too bulky. And then on this side, again, I haven't set this up because I'm going to be throwing work stuff in here, um, but I did set up the planner. I found these names, the, um, stickers that I had bought earlier last year. So I did put that on there. I will be filling this out with work stuff, but I did go ahead and date the month starting with April and I went ahead and did every month because as I was doing the first three months I'm like man this is really time consuming I don't think I want to keep doing keep <laughs> making the time to do the dates so I went ahead and did the whole year and I doubt I use January 2025 in here, but I went ahead and dated it so I could future plan. And then that gets us to the notes pages. And again, I haven't put anything here, the yearly wins. And then I did put the other ruler on this project planner because I will probably be doing, have information for projects in here. Um, and so I haven't done anything else to the rest of this. I have just set it up so that it's ready to go um, for my new job for April. I think until April, I'm gonna like take notes and like see how the job's gonna work and how maybe I want to organize my planner for work. So I have that in this photo. Then I also bought this mini horizontal undated and sage and I have gone ahead and dated all the tabs which some months are better than others and again I found a name so I put this this script in this one I haven't done anything with this yet but I did find uh, these weekdays and month and then uh, these are from planner kate i think they're for erin condren monthly but i just used them and i had enough to do the first three months and then i will have to date this later and that's fine for right now this planner is going to be my um, gratitude, uh, just my happy, like little place. I'm going to just write a little thing each day, something nice that happened, something I want to remember, something very positive in each of these days. And that's what I'm using this for. Um, so I don't necessarily need it to be dated all the way through, but I will probably go through and date it. I may get a, a marker or like a, um, a brush pen. That was hard. A brush pen. I have the, I have two, a soft and hard tip, a brush pen. So I will maybe brush the letters in or something. 
Um, but this is what I'm using this planner. I think just the small space is not very big, but a small positive note on the day at the end of the day will be great. And then I will probably be tracking if I made that note. Um, so I probably won't need all six of these habit trackers, but we'll see. We'll see if I can think of any. So that's for the horizontal weekly edition that I purchased. The next one I purchased, I purchased solely because this cover was lovely. I really, really loved it. Um, this is also a regular size horizontal weekly edition. It has this very pretty blue cover here. Again, I did this script with my name and then I went ahead and I found scripts for the month and then I used what I had from the Laurel Denise and I dated the month on all of these. And then I went ahead and dated the weeks with the day. So I just need to put in the days here. But this is going to be my writing journal and creative outlet. I'm going to put some log stuff. Like I'm going to write what I did, what I, what story I was working on, how I felt when I was working on it, you know, how long I worked, maybe how many words I got, how many, how long I worked and how many words I got in the monthly section. And then in this section, I'm going to write how I felt and just a little snippet of what I did that day in writing. And then I will use this side here and this side for notes on the story and the concept. I have a deadline of April 30th and that I need to hit. So I need to be consistent in working every day. Um, and when I was setting this planner up, I was like, I really don't have a purpose for it. And then I was watching, I think I was watching Heart Breathings when she was setting up her like, when her, her writer reset videos and she was setting up um, a planner. And I was like, you know what? I have this planner. I'm not, I normally use a notebook that has notes in it. I probably will continue just because I like the Erin Condren notebooks. I will go get it, hold on. Okay, so I use this Erin Condren. This is the Etta V collection from Erin Condren. And it just has, it's gold edges, but it just has line and I use it. I was using it kind of like this where I put the seamless and then I checked it if I got it done. And then I was having, these are sprints and then I was writing how many words I was getting. And then I just have um, notes on like prologue that I was working on. This worked for a little bit, but not, not the greatest. And then I was like writing out the goal, conflict, motivation, and stakes for each scene. And then whether or not I got it completed. So I was using this and I still have quite a bit of this notebook left. So I will probably continue to use that if I need it. If I need to like journal out long form. Um, this is mostly for just little scribble notes, like things I think of, but I'm really excited to use this. The cover is gorgeous. I love the cover so much. Um, I've been getting into like blues more. And so I really like the cover. So that's what I'm using this horizontal weekly edition for. I'm really excited. I haven't wrote, I haven't worked on my story in almost three months now, probably has been three months. And I'm excited to get back to it. I've been thinking a lot about it. Not a lot, a lot, but 
I've had random thoughts and I've, <clears throat> there's some things that I've figured out that's exciting. And so I'm ready to get back to it. I just haven't sat down yet and did that. So I need to just, what is the saying? What is that saying? Where you just need to crack it open and <laughs> start or something? I don't know if you know that saying, put it down in the comments or something similar to that. Um, so yeah, I just need to do the hard thing and it's gonna be okay. Um, but that is what I bought for Laura Denise planners because I wasn't sure which one I was going to like the best. And right now I still don't know. I might, I'm in the, ver I'm going to start in the vertical for my catch all. And that one I'm going to be taking with me out to places and stuff. Um, and then the project planner I'll be taking to work only. And then the other two will just be, the two horizontals will just be at home um, to use when I'm at home. But if I'm working in the vertical for April and it doesn't seem to be working, I could switch to this horizontal and start using it. Um, it will just depend on my mood and how it's going. Um, but as of right now, I'm going to be sticking with the vertical and using the horizontals as supplements to my planning so this is all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video bye